All right, guys. So we're going to talk a little bit about the Bass Raider. And uh, I'm going to explain to you guys why I don't have the deck anymore. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, so for starters, uh, so I, yesterday I took the boat out uh, and I got on the deck and it was great. You know, when I got out there, you know, you, you, I had the, the pedestal seat that you could turn around. Um, so that was all good, you know. Um, but getting there from from this seat right here, getting there from this seat right here, because this seat would be like back there. Uh, and the deck was up on the front, obviously. Uh, the leg room was about like up to here. So like the little bit of space that I have and guys, mind you, like I'm 6'3", so I need leg room. <laughs> leg room is, is, is huge to me. Uh, so, you know, getting from, from this chair up to the pedestal seat, just so that I can fish and then, you know, dropping the trolling motor down. It was just a lot. Um, and a couple of times I tripped and, you know, I got the size 13 shoes, six foot three, like it's, it wasn't ideal. Like I needed more leg room and it was pretty obvious. So uh, I just said, okay, cool. When I got back from having a boat out, let's uh, scrap the deck idea for me uh, and um, figure something else out. So this is what I came up with. Um, I do think, however, that the deck, this deck right here would be great for, you know, someone under six foot maybe. Um, just because, I mean, you don't have to worry about the same thing that us tall guys got to worry about. Like it's, you know, it's, it's, it, it gets annoying sometimes, but it is what it is. Um, so nothing I can do about it. It's not like I can get shorter. <laughs> uh, but, but I like what I came up with. Um, so I'm going to take some time and kind of go over that with you guys. And, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. We'll start at the back of the boat. Um, kind of just going to go over everything again, uh, for you guys. So it'll make it easier for me and for you. <laughs> Mercury, uh, 3.5 with a five horsepower carb upgrade. Um, start with that. I did a support right here. This wooden support that I did, I, I stained it and sealed it and everything like that. But I, I put that right into the, uh, where the handles are right here. So it worked out really good uh, when I had the boat out yesterday. So I'm very satisfied with that. Um, back here, underneath of that, I did install a scuffer here. Uh, that water is actually what came into the boat uh, when I was launching because I don't have the ramp keys for my neighborhood and it just got a little bit awkward. Uh, if you know anything about these Mercury's, the 3.5s come with a um, uh, 0.3 gallon uh, um, tank, gas tank. Um, so, you know, that's good. I mean, it gets me out pretty far, but when I carry this little one and a quarter um, gas tank, it takes it to a whole nother level because now I can really, really get out there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I did do these little, these little straps to hold things. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably dupe that up and do another set up here on both sides. Because as you see, like I got my rides over there. So, you know, for my setup, it just makes sense. Uh, I did I did a uh, strap over here too. So, you know, that goes around and it hooks into these little things right here, little hooks. Um, my Pelican case is where I keep all my important information and my, my, um, my first aid kit and some gloves in case I need it, you know, that kind of thing, just utility gloves more so. Um, yeah, let's move up to the seat. So the seat, I offset it, so you should be able to see that. Uh, I moved it over to the right a little bit more so that then I can have room a little bit more room anyways to uh to uh, get the the throttle handle um also what makes a, a big difference for me is if i'm up here fishing i typically like to orient orient 
orient, orient. I typically like to fish off of one side of the boat. Um, so, you know, I'll pick, I, I, I picked up the left side of the boat. Um, you know, then I can do my circle around and I'm pretty much always on the left side, whatever. Uh, I can fish off the right side too. It is what it is. Um, but when I am fishing and I'm using my trolling motor, I typically fish off one side of the boat. So, um, you know, that gives me, if I, if I orient the seat a little bit more to the left, um, then, you know, it gives me more room on the right side or vice versa, right left whatever but you see what i'm getting at like it gives me more space you know so that's pretty cool um i don't want to go but i want to go back over this uh this is my little tackle box not much to it you know keep some stuff in there in the bottom and all that kind of stuff regular plain old tackle box um my paddle back here i saw a lot of guys do pick this paddle and like this kind of do like a this kind of thing with it strapped to the side of the boat. I just didn't think that that was necessary, man. Um, put the paddle right there, and it stays there perfectly fine. It's no big deal to me. Uh, so I'll keep my net with me and my little stringer and basket all that kind of stuff in case I want to bring home the bacon not necessarily bacon but you know what I mean the cool thing with this net right it's collapsible so while I'm fishing what I'll probably do is take my gloves out of this rod holder here first <laughs> um, and then what I'll probably do if I'm going somewhere, I'll sit that rod. I mean, I'll sit this uh, this bat, this uh, net right inside of here, um, and just ride out because it's it's pretty. I mean, it's not. I have to be going over some serious waves to get that to knock out of there. And if I do, then obviously, I know the waves are coming, and I'm probably just gonna put that on the floor uh or just not be out in those kind of ways because this is a 10 foot bass raider <laughs> so you know those are the kind of things that you know, kind of want to think about before you even go out there right um but yeah while i'm going to where i'm fishing i can have it down pop her up she's good to go ready to go because i'm gonna be fishing up closer to the front uh, so yeah I could easily just reach over and grab the net when I need it. So it works out. Um, let's see. I did do the Troll King. I know you guys that have been watching for a while, you guys already know about the Troll King. But this is pretty awesome. I will show this to you guys uh, a little bit more towards the end of the video, of the video uh, about how this works. But it's, it's, it's sick. I'm actually going to show you guys like all the way. I'm going to get up into the boat and show you guys exactly how that works. And yeah, you'll like that. The Troll King is pretty awesome. Like I said, here are the rods. So I'm going to do another strap here uh, somewhere around here um, just to go over top of these rods. Uh, but I do like having the handles closer to the front because then it gives me access. I mean, I'm right here next to them. So, uh, you know, instead of grabbing the rod tips, you know, I can just grab the handles right there. So it works out. Uh, I added a cup over, you know, it's uh, put some little stainless steel screws in, in the bottom of a, uh, in the bottom of a uh, ram mount cup holder that I used to have for a motorcycle that I, that I no longer have. Uh, so I just put some holes in the bottom and screwed some little self-tapping screws into there and holds up good. I mean, holds my my, uh, my space cozy. <laughs> uh, honestly, I put a, um, right here, I got a uh, pliers, little thing that, um, little case thing that I came with I just put two little two little same little self self tapping stainless steel screws in there now <clears throat> then I always have my pliers on the boat I don't have to worry about those going on the boat 
so that works out. Fish grips up here in the front, fish gloves, I mean, uh, fishing gloves or whatever, phone case holder thing, whistle, all your good stuff. I still got to do some wiring right here. Uh, I'm going to put off the trolling out, out. Well, let me explain that to you when I get inside of the boat. All right, guys, so now I'm up on the boat and I actually have it set up pretty much. Yeah, I mean, pretty much exactly how it would be set up if I'm fishing. So um, I'll go over a little bit more of this uh, so that you guys can see this Troll King setup. Um, you know, the back is what the back was the whole time. You know, you just, uh, we kind of already went over all that. Uh, but I'll show you guys, you know, the front of the boat um, in a little bit more detail and explain to you what's going on with this Troll King and, um, you know, battery situation. All this, this, because this, this is where this is where the, uh, the the fishing happens. That's up front, and this is why I did this too. I, I, I do want to I do want to touch on that. Um, the deck, you know, coming up front was just a pain in the butt. Where now, all I got to do now is just literally lift up a little bit and pull the seat up and just scoot up to the front. I mean, doesn't get much more easier than that. Uh, so, I think that this is going to work out a whole lot better for me. Um, but yeah, uh, I definitely will be updating you guys and you know that. All right, cool. So here's the front. Um, so got plenty of leg room up here for, you know, if I want to stretch out a little bit while I'm fishing, uh, and obviously, you know, you see me, I, I, I chill while I'm out here. I got my Crocs on and my... <laughs> comfy side it's cold out here today guys but uh but yeah man i um when i'm out in the water man i pretty much chill so i, I mean i can kick my feet up you know whatever uh, but uh yeah it's actually cool because the pelican is designed with like this little stop and this little ridge so it's like a perfect spot to just like post up you know you can just do your thing off the side of the boat over here so um that's pretty sweet uh, I got my cup holder right here next to me, so if I need to get to my my my, my secret juice, then I can. Uh, let's see. Um, I got my pliers right next to me, so everything is thought out to like work for my space. You know, for me. Um, you know, my fish grips are right here. I can reach those. My uh, my net's right here. I can reach that you know be easy to get down get whatever hunk of a fish slab of a fish that i'm catching see that see how it just like it all, all it just goes down by itself so if i'm about to like leave a location and i'm about to slide back and get and go then obviously you know i don't want to leave this up there like that so when i put it in bow that easy man that's a dope, uh, I, I, I like this idea for that. Uh, that works out perfectly, uh, because I always have access to it. So that should be pretty sweet. Um, let's go to the Troll King. All right, so Troll King is a way to turn your regular trolling motor into a controlled trolling motor. With this rod that's attached to the trolling motor, and attached to the troll king. If I come up here on the troll king and I push this forward, I'm gonna try to catch all this on video. It turns, right? Push it back, it turns the other way. I can even, if you, if you, well, it's hitting the trailer right now. You can kind of hear it hitting the trailer, but if I pop it back, it'll turn all the way around. See, and then I can, if it wasn't hitting the trailer, I could keep going around and I could even troll backwards. And then all you gotta do is just pop it back like that. This thing is freaking sweet, man. Like, uh, the guys that came up with this Troll King, man, I can't get enough of talking about it, man. This thing is so awesome. Um, it has a little black button right there that, you know, if you hit that, if you're on the mode where, you know, you hit that and you, uh, you it, it'll turn the motor on, or you can have like a constant on right here. So that's sweet. So I just leave this at like, you know, anywhere between 30 and 50%. This is a Minn Kota, uh 55 pound thrust and door max. Um, yeah, I leave that anywhere between 30 and 50%. And 
I can I can I can sneak up on pretty much anything. Um, power actually runs through this, so via this white wire, that's why it's cut loose right now because I still got to do some wiring. But this will, I'm gonna run a, a quick connect to this. Same way I did in the back. You gotta check out the other videos for that. I, I showed you guys how I did a quick connect when I had the battery in the back. Um, but I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And it's gonna be a quick connect up to the battery over here. Um, and then uh, the the trolling the trolling motor uh, is connected via that black and red wire that's coming over here and connecting into this uh, trolling. So. I'm getting battery power, power from the battery over to the trolling, out of the trolling, over to the trolling motor via the black button or the switch. So they really got it figured out, man. Super sick system. Um, I think I'm really gonna like this setup, man, because this, I mean, the, the space I got now is just, it's just perfect, man. Like I can, this is, it, it doesn't get much better than that, man. I can sit up here, troll all day with my foot while I'm throwing lines out. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I think this is gonna be sweet. And to be honest with you guys, man, I'm not really the guy that's gonna do a whole bunch of standing up while I'm fishing, especially not on this, just because, I mean, it's stable, but I don't know, it's just not, to me, it's not, it's not stable on the level that some people are like, man, I could just stand on the edge of it. I can't, but I'm a big dude. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe little guys can do that. I can't do that. So, <laughs> um, I stand up, you know, sometimes if I just want to stretch out, but even standing on just this floor is fine, man. I mean, this, I mean, the pontoon setup does make it, you know, easier to, to be able to just stand up and do your thing, man, do your fishing. Um, so yeah, um, what I will say is that I started off with a yoga mat down here uh, and I tried standing up with the yoga mat and because it was so cushiony, I couldn't, I didn't have good footing. Like I didn't, you couldn't really feel like the floor, like you just felt cushioned, which is very comfortable, but it made it really feel unstable, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, so the, the plywood, this is three quarter inch plywood that I sealed up and I covered with carpet. Um, this feels a whole lot better when you stand up on this in the water uh, versus the yoga mat. So I would definitely recommend going with the plywood. It's, it's way better, um, way more supportive. <clears throat> so under, keep the tackle down there. I can get to all my stuff. I mean, what, what more can you ask for out of a Bass Raider, man? This is. This setup is pretty sick, man. Uh, I mean, yeah, we can get some serious fish off of this, man. Yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it, man. Uh, we're gonna get some fish off of this, man. It's coming, man. Once once the weather warms up and they start to, to show up more, um, I'm gonna have some videos for you guys and uh, we'll have some fun out here on the water for sure. And this, this Bass Raider, man, I'm trying to tell you, man, you, you, you got to look into it, man. If you like fishing uh, and you don't want to commit to a bigger boat yet or, you know, at all, um, the Bass Raider is dope, man. I mean, there's so many things you can do to this boat, man. And it's, if you like, you know, small projects like that and like tinkering with stuff, this thing is awesome. Like, he, it's so much fun tricking these things out, man. Um, and, yeah. So, and you get to catch some good fish at the end of the day, right? Um, so, that's all I got for you today, man. Um, you guys, I'm thinking about changing the name of the channel. Uh, so, after you like, comment, and subscribe, red button subscribe, uh, after you do that, man, when you do comment, throw me a, throw me a, a, a name for the channel, an idea for a name in the, of the channel down in the comments, man. I, I, uh, I'm i trying to think of like something cool to name the channel so that, you know, I could say, you know, welcome to such and such, you know what I mean? That'd be dope. And, you know, just have some fun with it, man. It's YouTube. I mean, it's out here for us to have some fun with. So um, with that being said, uh, I'll get back at you guys next time, man. Thanks for tuning in.